My name is Jeffrey Ibrahim. I'm from Johor, Malaysia, and I'm in Australia to race the GT World Challenge. Driving at Bathurst for the final round of the year, we are sitting second in the championship. Well, I've been top of a mountain once. It was different. Um... I can sort of try to go up there as a, in an incognito mode, you know, so hopefully it'll be okay. We're back in Bathurst and finally here after months and months and preparation, so yeah, can't wait. This is it. Last round of the Australian GT Championship here at Bathurst this weekend. Two one hour races, which first one um, the Prince Jeffrey starts and uh, and then his co-driver for this weekend, Peter Hackett, finishes. Uh, and then the second one's the other way round. You know, really the mission this weekend for me is to help Jeffrey extend his second position in the championship or, or maintain second position in the championship. He's uh, really good and consistent in the car. His feedback's great and uh, he wants to learn. Got a bit going on today, so uh, hopefully we have a good result. We're, um, we're pumped, we're going, we're going to be good. My job, really, in, in all of this, is to pull him out of his comfort zone and keep pushing him, pushing him to really try and be smart, but fast. Awesome driving, mate. Awesome driving. Stay with these guys. Stay with these guys. Good job, mate. Made an absolutely superb start. That's a beautiful Mercedes, isn't it? The whole family absolutely love their motorsports. Good job, mate. Eyes hot, eyes hot. We then had a safety car because a couple of other people ran into each other. Oh! It's contact already down here at the end. What's been a pretty drama-filled lap. We had a restart, and to be honest, the the then the, the next few laps uh, weren't fast enough. He's close to the back of that Mercedes as they sweep through the right-hander at the chase. Three more to go, three more to go. Eyes are forward, let's zip it up now. Only three more laps, man, so zip it up. These guys are some 27 seconds behind the leader. For 72 hours in quarantine will not stop Christopher Bees as he gives Yasser Shaheen victory in race number one of the Fanatec GT World Challenge and sets the fastest lap of the race on the final lap of 204.25. What I'm doing here is just to improve myself as a driver and, and to be the best I can and, and, and improve and, and be a strong driver. When Prince Jeffrey's out there amongst this field in the Australian GT Championship, he's pretty much got less experience really in racing than anyone else on the grid. We've, we've had a quick debrief after, after race one and I want to see both uh, Peter and Prince Jeffrey step it up in race two. We need to give them a little bit better car, uh, but I, I want them to, to really focus on how much speed have they got in the car and themselves at Bathurst so that Prince Jeffrey is as competitive as he possibly can be with the other Rams who'll be in that race. Uh, but we need to find more speed. It's a very important round for us. We have a chance to win the championship, so it really means a lot, and, and I've put a lot of work into this, and the team have as well. This is the worst bit when it's like so close to the race start. This, this next 10 minutes feels like 10 hours. Today's another day. We're going to make sure we try and get that win, that win today. That's the go. Behind at the start, away we go. It's going to be Brenton Grove who sweeps across to take the lead as everybody tries to get these Pirelli tyres up the temperature and work their way up mountain straight for the first lap here of this 60 minute race. So this battle continues here. Oh, big news, sorry to cut in over the top here, the Triple Eight car. 
of Peter Hackett. That's at the top of McPhillamy Park, facing the wrong direction. It just looked like the rear of the car got loose for me. And that's parked heavy into the wall there. Speeds across the top of the hill in these GT cars are incredibly high, well up in the 200 kilometre an hour mark. Was there any contact there? There was a big gap between them and I have to think no. Uh, we didn't get to finish. Um, my teammate had a crash uh, up the mountain, so unfortunate. Not how we would like to end it. Uh, but the good thing is we were still running second in the championship, so hopefully we'll fight again next year. That makes it second overall. Um, yeah, unfortunately, a little bit of bad luck. Um, looks like Pete just got a little bit, the car just got a little bit tail happy and unfortunately it's ended up in the fence, you know, he's not the first, he's not the last, it happens a lot here. So unfortunately he didn't get to take the chequered flag for the last time, but it's okay, we'll get it fixed and we'll um, go again next year. We've enjoyed having you down under, you've spent a lot of time here with training and so on, you've enjoyed your time in Isles, haven't you? No, it's exactly, no, it's been great being here and being back here in Bathurst and with all the crowds here, it's been Great. Uh, today is a bit unfortunate, but this is racing. Shame. Thank you. Thanks. For the Prince to come here and come second in the championship in his first year, a lot of the guys here have a lot of experience driving, especially in Australia. I mean, it's really good for him um, to end up in that position in the championship. It's a pretty good outcome. I want Prince Jeffrey. Uh, to look back on not only this year, but in the future and say, Triple Eight pushed him to new heights. Triple Eight pushed him to do things which he didn't think he could do. We'll focus on um, next year, eyes forward now, and hopefully we'll reach our targets in the future, which I believe we can.